So I have a crude oil strategy that back tests for almost a year on 15 second charts. The market trades differently than it did five years ago, three years ago. There's some micro price movements and some of the patterns that we used even 10 years ago um, sometimes work better on smaller time frames. Now the opposite, the opposite of those patterns from 10 years ago um, because we're in such a mean reverting market. And so crude oil, the trend has been up. And so this is a long only strategy, and for the past year, this strategy um, looks like this. Um, lately, it's been sideways. Um, it's been sideways before. Uh, you have drawdowns in here, and it has a very tight stop loss, a $300, $300 stop loss per contract, 30 points. So your, your percent profitability is low. Whenever you have a tight stop loss, you're going to have more losers than winners, but your winners can be a lot bigger. You let this thing run. Um, it's a raw, raw strategy. It doesn't have a lot of exits. It exits at um, $300 stop loss or a, um, a 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. And you see a nice entry and stop out on Friday because it does leave so much on the table based on this back test. You can't add a trailing stop, a break-even stop, a profit target. and But just with the raw results, this is what this strategy looks like. And one way to trade crude oil has a low drawdown. And so, you know, it doesn't back test going back 10 to 12 years. If, if I test it on one minute charts, uh, the past year the results are pretty good. They're not as good as on 15 second charts. But before a year ago, um, crude oil was, had been in a longer downtrend. And so now I believe we're moving into an uptrend in crude oil. Uh, the markets are inflationary. Um, anticipation of inflation in the markets and energy prices and so um, there's a bias to the long side um, it's easier it's it's easier to day trade crude oil on the long side in my opinion than on the short side so and then when the trend is up it makes it that much easier but you see um, some of the trades here the last two trades have been down and so taking the next trade could be a good approach in a strategy like this the trade before that I captured a, uh, a really nice trade. So three trades ago, it was up um, this much, about almost 1300 on a 1270 uh, was the trade it got in on. It can trade as early as 730 in the morning. And so it traded at 739 Central Time, 839 Eastern, and took a long trade in here in this area, 6940, exited up here. And then the next two trades were stopped out on $300 stop losses. But that is um, that is what I call QS, quick start. And you know these markets move fast. And one of the one of the concepts is to pick a direction. And we pick we pick the long side and we look for a small counter trend pattern. Um, and then we go long on that counter trend pattern at a certain time of day to capture these moves because. Once you, once a traditional trading system uh, discovers the signal, the trend can be over because the moves are fast. They usually don't last that long. And so this is one way to approach this market. Crude oil has a lot of range, and it seems like there's a lot of opportunity, but it's still, still a very tricky and difficult market to trade. And this is one approach. It's been working the last 12 months or so. And... I have data intraday uh, going back to 10.18 for 15 second charts. And so this is one, I guess it's 11 months, not 12. So this is one approach that you could take to trade crude oil. If you want to trade crude oil, if you want to add this risk profile to your portfolio and you agree that crude oil is bullish, if you're bullish crude oil and you want to risk this, in this setup, you're risking $300 per trade and no more than one trade per day. So you're managing your risk very carefully and you've had two losers in a row and so if you look at the trade analysis this thing keeps disappearing on me um, losing series two trades in a row um, happens 19 times and the next trade is 588 and then uh, you could have up to six trades in a row that's happened once uh, three four five six losing trades in a row are less frequent but they can happen seven times nine times two times one time and so um, it could be a good time to start on a losing series of two. And so that's what I'm taking a look at for myself tomorrow. 
and I'm going to make the strategy available to you on a monthly lease. It's an emerging strategy. Emerging strategies have short track records based on new patterns, anticipation of new patterns that will continue. And, you know, you, you should be willing to risk the worst case drawdown or slightly more and and then go from there and and manage it based on what you know about the crude oil market. So that is quick start crude oil.